mastering the Seven Spirit Realms Conference with the bondservant of Christ, John. Man is on a journey. We are here in a something controlled, limited consciousness. We must be very careful how we live it because the next chapter of our existence is eternal. 90% of the outcome and the conditions that we're gonna face outside this temporal time will be um, resulting from how we managed, how we lived our lives here. And that's why in every man, according to the scriptures, God has placed eternity in our hearts. So no one here that would deny that he or she does not have eternity in heart. In other words, God has placed the consciousness of eternity. So every day of my life, I have eternal consciousness. I think of my eternity. I think of the end of the world. I think of what is coming. I think of the judgment seats, the judgment seats of God, the judgment thrones of God. I know God is, forget about these fools. Why are you arguing with fools? Don't try to convince fools that God is. A fool is a fool. Wisdom is too high for a fool. When I see people arguing with people who, who say God is not, you're just wasting your time. The Bible calls it endless arguments. Endless arguments. Why are you wasting your energy? There are, the Bible says that a fool says in his heart, there is no God. And wisdom is too high for a fool. When something is too high for someone, why are you fighting? Live a fool to live a foolish life. And the wise must live the wise life. This is time of separation. <laughs> you know, my, my mouth is so sharp. <laughs> they wouldn't like me much. I will tell you that. You've not even, they've not even started against me yet. There's a cooking against me everywhere. So that's why whenever I mount here, I give it all. Once I have time to mount here, I get it out so that the next generation can run with it. Are you hearing me? So, so ministry is not about what you can accumulate for yourself. It's about empowering mankind with the word of the Lord that you have received from God. Why there is still time Jesus knew that he had a time. There was a time frame. He said, I would do the work of him that have sent me. Why I still have time. For a time coming, that he was speaking of himself, that there's going to be a time that he will not be able. How? Because when the countries, when the government of his time rose up against him, that was the end. Oh, you don't understand. Governments are very powerful. When government rises up against a man, it's over. They will, from your finances, mess you up. Legally, mess you up. They, they, will, they will just silence you. So whenever you have time, when God has given you that time to do the work, do it as quick as possible. Pour at your heart so that the next generations can run with the fire. Say amen to that, sons of God. So let nobody fool you. We are here to get the job done. Generations must be salvaged. Are you hearing me, sons of God? So um, we're going to speak the word of the Lord with no fear. And we do not cultivate any forms of sentiments. I don't want you to be sentimental. Oh, Pastor John, what's going to happen to him? No, 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 no. Cry for your own self. Just cry, for, just seek for God. Worship Jesus with all your heart. Serve no other gods. 
Don't yield your soul to any strange spirits, to any strange gods. Give your life fully to the Lord and wait on the judgment day of the Lord. Are you hearing me? And there is, the, as a matter of truth, the day of the Lord is fast approaching. In fact, we are already there. So we're in a very critical period of times. So everybody must clean up. To what? Clean up. It, it doesn't matter what, what type of persecution that comes your way. It doesn't matter what type of attacks that come your way. Just know that as long as you are in harmony with Jesus, as long as you are in connection and you know that you have a genuine worship relationship with the Lord. That's more important. You see, this pulpit is not important to me. Are you hearing me? Pastor John, Pastor John, it, it means nothing. The most important aspect of my life is my secret fellowship. My personal, private, individual walk with God. Not the one you see on the pulpit. The one you see on the pulpit can be deceiving. The one you see on the pulpit is, can be some kind of charismatic gifts. Yet at the last day, the Lord will say, Depart from me, you that preach my name, cast out devils in my name, prophesy in my name. He says, Depart for your secret lives. Your life behind the scene didn't please me. But your life in the open made people believe that you were holy and great mighty man of God. But behind the scene, you're a viper. You are a wolf in a sheep clothing. You sleep with your members. You sleep with married women. You sleep, you, you extort from people. You manipulate, you lie. In the name of ministry, the part from me, hell is waiting for you. You walk us of iniquities. Your conscience has been sealed with a hot iron. I do not know you. See that? So that's more important to me. I, I, I'm more concerned about what will Jesus say concerning me in the day of the Lord? Am I practicing what I preach on this pulpit? Do I truly live holy outside here? Who am I inside my heart? I'm talking about not the one that preaches here. I'm talking about the one in the heart. Who am I? Let me tell you, to the best of my knowledge, by the grace of our Lord Jesus, and I'm not being bragged, braggadocious, this man you see here, have served the Lord in purity, in spirit, in total holiness of the heart and outside. My heart, as long as I have been on this pulpit and behind the scene, I have served this Jesus in spirit and in truth faithfully. But this is not for you to accept and please discard it because it's not for you. It is for the Lord and for him alone to judge us and to judge me and to judge all of us. We are going to stand before him and give account of all that we have done in this body. And may his grace and his peace and his righteousness continue to prevail in your life, in your walk with him, in your spirit. May the longing to walk in righteousness continue to fire up your hearts. Amen like a thunder, sons of God. New York, USA. Are you ready? The Demonstration of the Spirit and Power Conference with the Bond Servant of Christ, John. Dates 23rd through 25th, May 2024. Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website www.spiritrevelationchurch.org There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free. free. Dimensions of the Spirit War against the Prince of Darkness in the atmosphere of Sydney, Australia with the bond servant of Christ, John. Venue, Sydney Olympic Park, The Dome, Sydney, Australia. Hall 5 and 6, 
Date, 8th through 10th, May 2024. Wednesday the 8th, time 5 p.m. Thursday the 9th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Friday the 10th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Register online to get your free tickets www.keepthefaithministry.org slash conference War against the beast of Europe with the bondservant of Christ John 11th and 12th July 2024 Day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session 9 a.m. Strictly for ministers Evening session, 6 p.m. Open for everyone Venue, PWA Silverdome Van der Hagenstraat 2722 NT Zotermeer, Netherlands Register now for seat reservations Visit our website www.spiritrevelationchurch.org The Tribe of Fire presents International Ministers Conference with the Bondservant of Christ John Dates 27th through to the 29th August 2024 Session Times Day 1 6 p.m. Day 2 Morning Session 9 a.m. Evening Session 6 p.m. Day 3 Morning Session 9 a.m. Evening Session 6 p.m. Register now for seat reservations Visit our website www.spiritrevelationchurch.org Venue 284 Fortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa See you in the realms 